Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> Uh, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's, like, numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? I'm gonna be honest... You seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Huh? Well, wait. Most I've ever met would mean you stand out in some way. You're a very run-of-the-mill waste of time. I don't get it. what I do? You have time for the whole list? I guess. First, you wear classic rock t-shirts from Walmart. Girls don't compliment how you dress, so you settled for old people high-fiving you for being retro. Nah, people think I'm cool. Rapid fire of assumptions, tell me if I get any wrong. You call your bicycle a BMX, like energy drinks, take pictures of your skateboarding wounds, mention to anyone they can't get addicted to marijuana, and own a guitar pick necklace. Well, uh, alright, I- I'll-, I'll see you later then. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day, you sure about that? Whatever, all you hot girls look the same. That was real discreet. Gotta be. Especially cutting under this school security. Uh-huh. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? I'm an abysmal bitch. Fucking cool. Rock on. So what do you do here? Like cheerleading? Doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. Last season we went 7-5, and five, like above 500, not bad. It's my life pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well... I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only lost like five games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. But it's pretty badass because they keep giving me Percocet. Cool. Seriously? How much? Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got them right here. You want to do them with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. Free Percocet? Hell yeah, hand it over. This is actually my Mexican cartel supply, but it probably won't kill you. My feet feel great. I could fall asleep standing right now. Yeah, I told you, it was good shit. I'm sorry, are we lost? Both of you should be in class. This isn't a skip period. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey dude, we were just on our way, you know? What are you hiding there? Oh, shit. Prescription pills? Whose are these? Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble! In trouble? Fuck you, I'm not in anything! Uh, yeah, you definitely are in trouble. Well, you're in the Model Train Fan Club, you freak. I'm not in the Model Train Fan Club. I just sponsored the Model Train Fan Club. That's even worse. You look new here. I'm not sure what you think you're doing, but I can assure you it won't last long. A bitch can't pop perks here? What the fuck? What if I had glaucoma? But you don't have glaucoma. And you just confessed to drug use on school grounds. Come with me, both of you. Honey... What the fuck is wrong with you? A two-day suspension on the first day of school? It was like one pill. He's just mad I made him feel insecure, so he threw the book at me. Look, I know you're acting out because of your father. Mom, literally no one ever has actively thought, I'm gonna act out today. What does that even mean? I'm gonna look cool by disrespecting my parents. This is a world you and everyone who crochets created. She kind of has a point with that, Bob. You kind of need to get a fucking job. You're 26. I told you the economy's bad. Blame Bush. And these girls I chat with online fully agree. Mom, still, I can't believe you're taking the school side with this. It's totally against all my citizen rights. They had you sign something that waives those rights. You're 16. You don't even have rights. Well, you do, right? Sue the school or something. You're at the only public school for miles and miles. What happens if you're gone for good, huh? I'm not moving again, I'm not paying for private school, and I'm definitely not homeschooling. Fine, I won't blow it then. I won't squeal a bit. A teacher could just break the shit out of me, but I won't say a word because we gotta stay in this shithole. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Mom! I could just get assaulted? You wouldn't care? You've been pulling the sexual assault card since you were 12. Hasn't happened yet, has it? That's not the fucking point! Well, you can figure out a new excuse locked in your bedroom for the next two days. Fine! I have my own computer. Grounding doesn't do shit anymore. 
Yeah, baby, you hear this? This is some real music. Now join my party chat and we can game. What, what the fuck are you doing? It's 1 a.m. I go back to school tomorrow. Bro, you're being seriously fail right now. Seriously fail? Those words don't even go together. You sound like an idiot. Look, I'm just recording a little voice message for this hottie I met online that I'm done, okay? This is like the fifth hottie in two days. Do you know how old any of these girls are? Like, legal in her country. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm just trying to score some 15-year-old Canadian ass. Hop off it. 15 isn't legal anywhere. Calling her Canadian ass doesn't make that better. Well, no. You know how, like, Canadian bacon is just ham? C Canadian ass is just a mature 15-year-old. See? Same thing. You're... Oh my god. Could you just help me record this message so we can both go to bed quicker? Hey, um... Did you get that new shooter game? The one where you're a white guy shooting brown people in a non-racist way? A warfare? Yeah, hell yeah, I got it. Had to steal out of mom's purse, but it's get paid or get played, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I guess. Can I play with you? I thought you didn't like video games anymore. I started using an anti-aging cream, so my hobby should match my skin. Oh, works for me, but you're player two, bitch. How could any adult woman not like video games? My big mistake wasn't getting suspended, but getting suspended on the first day before meeting anyone. You know I can't look badass when I come back. Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you around for a couple days. Fuck off and die. Well, uh, uh, all right. Hey, you don't look familiar at all. Are you new here? Kinda. I'm back from a two-day suspension. It's the third day of school. I don't beat around the bush. You're cool as shit. What's your name? Call me Nicole. Hey, I'm Jekka. So, how do you know Crispin? Who's Crispin? That guy you were just talking to? Oh, guitar pick necklace? Both days I've been here, he's tried talking to me. I have no idea who he is. He's kind of nice. I wouldn't be surprised if he burned down a convenience store, but yeah, he's nice. I'll tolerate just about anyone after being locked up with my brother for two days. Oh, is he younger? Into really loud, violent video games? Close. He's 26 and into really loud, violent video games. Oh, that's tragic. He lives at home still? Yeah, he's never even attempted couch surfing. Can he get, like, a boyfriend to live off or something? No, he's not gay. At least not that kind. And then can he, like, turn gay and get a boyfriend to live off? Fucked up. I asked that exact same question, and all he said was, bottoms don't top FPS leaderboards. Oh, so he's, like, really into video games. Is he one of those guys that, like, end up on the news for messaging kids? Last night, he begged a 15-year-old for naked pictures. Oh my god, he's that guy. Is he in prison yet? Uh, we'll see. Hey, I'd love to hang around more, but I gotta get to class. Where are you headed to? So to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long, I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your shots looking superior by the end of this year. Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too happy to be actually happy. Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. Sorry, I didn't even catch your name. It's Nicole. What's yours? You can call me Mr. White, but my friends call me Mr. Shooter. Okay, Mr. White. So what's first? Well, you see, Nicole, I didn't actually call you in for chemical cleaning. Needed you alone to ask something else. Here it comes. No, no, no. Mind out of the gutter, please. It's just you had a very striking look. Positively pure. I do a lot of freelance photography work outside of my teaching job here. How would you like to model for some community service hours? No way I'm getting naked on camera for the community. At least $500. Naked? No, absolutely not. You're a minor after all. Oh, so just wearing lingerie and baby oil gotcha. When is it? No, not that either. The shoot is this weekend at White Wheat Farms. Should be a nice, wholesome, sunny September day. Okay, but the payment situation is... You'll get a free meal of your choice. You know what? Sure. Oh, splendid. A nice, pure outing. Just me and my new, beautiful student, Nicole. 
I trust you'll brush up on your posing this week. Well, I bend over to pick up the paper, so it shouldn't be too hard. Then it's settled. This weekend, a nice, bright shoot should really cleanse our minds of the muddied culture surrounding us. Don't you think? Whatever you say, dude. I'll be at home googling expensive restaurants. And a clever girl at that. A bright mind to match your bright complexion. Okay, bye. That's it. Wonderful. Your pure skin just wonderfully fades out into the highlights of the wheat behind you. Yeah, thanks. Could you talk about something other than skin? It's like a dermatology fever dream. Sorry, Nicole. When something catches my eye, I just can't let it go. The curse of being a photographer. Okay. So, what's this thing on my shirt again? The Celtics logo or something? No, no. The Celtic Cross. Just a graphic rich with heritage that complements the nice, wholesome imagery behind you. Whatever you say. So, are we done yet? And... Yes, we are. It was a pleasure, Nicole. The pleasure was all yours. So there's a steakhouse on the other side of town and... Yes, yes. I'll hold up my end of the deal. Don't worry. But before we leave, I just wanted to ask you... Do you enjoy being white? I mean, not sure how white I'll be after standing in the sun all day. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Do you love the white American culture? Are you a proud white woman? Yeah, totally love it. A lot, actually. Can we go now? Oh, that's wonderful to hear. I trust your heritage is important to you as well. If I knew what it was, then absolutely. So great to find a like-minded student in my class. I love our race, and I'm proud of it. This is the first shoot of many, Nicole. Cool. Will I get paid next time? How would you like $50 a shoot? It adds up. Sweet, yeah. Any time, any place. Now that I know you're on board for the racial purification of this country, you deserve it. Oh. So, I'm pretty sure the photography teacher's a white nationalist. I said the tuna's good today, and you just replied with that. Remember how I told you I did that photo shoot with him? Yes, please, brag again. No, it's not that. Just the whole time he was saying this weird shit about whiteness and being white. I guess it fits. Mr. White's a white supremacist. White nationalist. Isn't it the same thing? White supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture. White nationalists politicize that. So... he's... Mr. White is a white nationalist. Pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist. Oh. That makes sense. Does it? Am I racist if I say no? Honestly, I don't give a shit. That's just what Google told me last night. Well, if we have some KKK guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Like what? Even if we told someone, they won't do anything. If being racist got you fired, like, no one would have a job. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. Maybe catch him on something else. You coming with me? He knows you, right? Dude, I really don't want to get involved. You're smart enough, you can handle it. Are you saying that because you really mean it, or just because you don't want to go? Can it be both? You're such a bitch. How? Because I don't want to see a white nationalist more than I already have to? You got me all worked up over this and you won't even dig into it with me. What kind of friend are you? I've known you for like a week. We're the only two pretty girls in this lunch block. We're gonna end up best friends anyway. And that right there is why your loyalty check isn't working. Whatever, fine. See you after school? Yeah, may as well. I actually have some counselor meeting for new student integration. Oh, good luck with that. Why are you saying it like that? The counselor is... Well, you'll see. See, Nicole? Doesn't it just feel great to openly talk about sex in a safe environment? No, actually. Not at all. Aren't you supposed to be asking me if I'm making friends or something? Eh, same old, same old. I prefer a different approach. Really getting into the dramatic psyche of our students. At your age, it's the number one thing on your mind. Talking about sex with a man 20 years older than me is the first thing on my mind? 
Merely a societal taboo. A social construct, if anything. Huh? Take homophobia, for example. That brand of hatred was brought on by other people. Nothing intrinsically wrong with homosexuality. But then what's the next taboo to be lifted? Let's say if you and me dated outside of school. Here we go. Perhaps in our lifetime, a relationship with someone of my age and someone of yours wouldn't be so frowned upon. At the end of the day, love has no boundaries. Does that make sense? Are you dialed in here? I'm about to dial 911. Nonsense. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Have you heard comeback season? Comeback season? It's that new mixtape from the actor rapper guy. Oh, sounds cool. Always important to be in tune with the music you kids listen to. Right. Well, I need to go meditate to it. I'll see you later. Great talk, by the way. Oh, and same to you. I love a young woman who isn't afraid to challenge societal norms. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Oh, hey. I was wondering where you were. Yeah, the counselor had me held up in there for a while. He didn't... Uh... Defend pedophilia? He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? I would, but then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. I know, yeah. So, how'd things go with Mr. White? Uh, okay, yeah, about that. So, I was talking to him, kinda confronting him, and his arguments weren't... that... out there... I don't get it. He's a political extremist. How is he not out there? See, we said that, but like, he asked me why it's okay to do black pride and Mexican pride, but not white pride, and I really didn't have an answer for him. So you just kind of backed off then? Well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, and we actually agreed on a lot. He wants me to do a shoot with him this weekend for the White Pride Party's blog. And what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? Plus 50 bucks for the day. Did he mention an ethno state for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethno state anyway? A country where all the non-white races are kinda exterminated. Oh, it's probably not even that serious. All I know is I'm proud to be white. You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. I'd rather have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Nicole, you rock. You can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye! Who can tell me who our third president was? Show of hands. Yes? Thomas Jefferson? Very good. One of the more interesting presidents of the 19th century for a variety of reasons. Yeah, he had sex with slaves. Gross. Quiet down. <laughs> now, who can tell me Jefferson's biggest achievement? No hands? Okay, Nicole. Huh? No, I'm sorry. Huh was not one of his achievements. You were close, though. You hear how no one's laughing? Just answer the question. At least try... What was it again? Thomas Jefferson's biggest achievement. What was it? Sorry, couldn't tell ya. Come on, you didn't even try. Did it have something to do with the slave sex thing he said? No, please stay on subject. Cause when you think about it, he's the first president to have an interracial relationship. That might make him the least racist president of all time until Obama gets elected. He literally owns slaves. Obama owns slaves? I guess we'll never have a non-racist president. Uh, no. Thomas Jefferson. Uh, yeah, I was joking. Thank you for derailing yet another class, Nicole. Tell that to the cross kid. He said the slave shit first. Nicole, get it together! The government forces me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn it, our team keeps fucking losing! So fucking gay! What's your problem? You fucking whore! Shut up! Hey, coach, are we just... Okay, no discipline for that one. Go on. I didn't get into lacrosse camp! Such bullshit! Well, maybe just 
get better at it? No, you don't understand. Like, there's all these dumbass underprivileged student passes. They're doing so many that like 20% of the sports are automatically filled. All these Mexican kids act like America's so racist when they got the fucking red carpet rolled out for everything. You mean like affirmative action? I think that's what they call it. I call it fucking gay. Who's with me? Just shut up and pass the ball. I gotta serve. What? How could you side with that? No one gives a shit but you and men who smoke at chain restaurant bars. Oh yeah, nothing matters unless you care. I see how it is. Can you just assume you won the argument so I can stop hearing this? Fucking women gotta go too, dude. I wanna move to the Middle East, a country that stones loud women to death. Sorry, what country is that? I just said, the Middle East? For such a smartass, you don't know books too good. But that's beside the point. Just get your grades up, Nicole. Uh Uh-huh. And also, if you could stop writing death to pedophiles on all the whiteboards, that would be great. Promoting violence is so vulgar. But don't pedophiles deserve to die? Nicole, no one deserves to die. Wow, that's really peaceful of you. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. Was it pedophilia? Oh, h- how dare you! You didn't say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. She almost got me that time. Oh, cool, you joined too? Yeah, it's my heritage. I have to support it. But do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks fine. I don't know. I'll probably see Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. Hey, Nicole, where's your heritage shirt? My what? You know, to support this grand cause. Grand cause? No, Jeffrey, you're making it sound weird. What we mean is, like, we're just fucking down for our heritage, you know? Why would I care about that? When you think about it, everyone's kind of against us as white people, you know? There's nothing more punk rock than being white. The only people in punk rock are white. Yeah, so come on, Nicole. You gonna join or what? You're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party. We'd love a pretty girl like you to become one of us. Sorry, um, what are the benefits? Benefits of what exactly? White nationalism? Like, what's in it for me? Well, you get these kick-ass shirts for one. I know what's in it for me. Before, everyone just avoided me. Like I was a freak or something. But then Jekka saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party. Now I really belong somewhere. And you can belong too. So for you, it's a club for easy social acceptance? Well, kinda. But everybody already hits on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I guess there's that. So, let me ask this. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. But the guys, they always talk to me now. Like for fun? To socialize? Or to give you pride party orders? Uh, well the orders are fun, so kind of both. You know, Jeffrey, this might be sudden, but like, you want to take me out later? Kill you? I couldn't do that, Nicole. Unless, of course, Mr. White told me to. No, I mean, like, take me out on a date? D- date? You mean, like, dinner and hugging and kissing? Yeah, all of it. But you're pretty busy with all this white pride stuff, huh? Oh, uh, well, not that busy. I gotta egg a synagogue this Friday, but I could make time. Aw, uh, you know, this Friday's like my only free day for the next, like... Forever? So damn, too bad. What? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, what's up? Long time no see. Jeffrey, I just wanted to remind you that you need to bring the extra large eggs this Friday. We need a big splat. Of course. Yeah. About that? Oh, my God, I don't want to hear it. I'm so busy as it is. Seriously, if you fuck this up, you're out. Jeffrey, what about our date this Friday? What the fuck is this? I thought you'd die for this cause. Sorry, Jekka, but I kind of just did this because no one else would talk to me. But now that Nicole's asking me out, well, having a girlfriend's way more important than the final solution. Dude, what? You little fucking race traitor. 
Mr. White, train me for this moment. Aryan students! Imperial Scribe Jekka! How may we serve you? Jeffrey here is no longer our brother, and he must be eliminated. Take care of him. Finally, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I hated being seen with him on rallies. Uh, uh, oh, Nicole, we just gotta take care of a little business here, but you wanna hang out after school? Are you actually just gonna have him killed right here? Well, duh, but it's just politics, you know. Help me! So, how's Mr. White doing? Well, he gave medals to everyone who killed Jeffrey, so I take it he's pretty happy. But can I vent? Like, they're not even medals, just little shirt pins. Yeah, fatal excommunications, definitely one of the less gratifying felonies. At least when you rob a bank, you get money. Speaking of Mr. White, he's like obsessed with you. Still? Always asks about you, always talks about you. What was the last thing he asked? He asked if Montana sounded like a good name for a death camp. No, about me. Always about you, okay. Well, he wasn't really asking, just wondering aloud if your hair was too dark for you to bear racially pure children. What the fuck? I know. It's so obvious you dye it, right? Right. It's been about three weeks now since I've gone to school. Once the news hit they killed Jeffrey, the literal FBI stepped in and expelled all the white nationalists. The end, right? Well, see, like, 95% of the school were in the white pride party, including the teachers. No teachers, no students, no school. Jekka sent me a Polaroid of herself in prison, and she's already covered in the Aryan tattoos. So it really makes you think. Makes you think about how indifference leads to a whole bunch of stupid shit.